What's going on guys? John Cochran, the King of Systems here. And what I want to do is I actually want to do a two-part. Um, you know, yesterday I went out there and I put a, a, a video out and uh, what we talked about was probate. And really what we did is, you know, how can you go out there and attack probate in a different way than what most people are doing? How can you do it into a relationship play? And again, what I said in that is I said, you know, hey, most people, what they're doing is they're finding probate deals by going to the probate court website or whatnot, writing down all of the, uh, the properties that are in probate, and then they're mailing the heirs. That's the number one thing that people are doing with probate. So they're sending direct mail to the house, et cetera. Well, I also said, you know, into that video, hey, what's another way that we as real estate investors, how could we go out there and attack probate to kind of better go out there and, uh, you know, do this system? And what I talked very, very heavily about was instead of mailing and spending money and going to, you know, mail the heirs that are probably still grieving, that are not going to be most thrilled about actually hearing from you, why don't we actually just start building relationships with probate attorneys? And then I showed you how to go out there and do that. I went through and I said, you know, hey, very simple. Go out there and just reach out to the 10 closest people that are around you. And then why don't you ask them who their attorney is and then go out there and have a meeting with their attorney. And if they do probate, that's great. But if they don't, have them refer you to a probate attorney uh, that they know because you know they absolutely know somebody. Um, it's one of the most powerful systems I've ever seen to bring in great quality deals for free. I mean, guys, you can literally over the next 30 days bring in like multiple deals, multiple deals over the next 30 days by not having anybody uh, into your system right now. And all you're doing is just reaching out to the 10 closest people that are around you to have them put you in contact with a relationship that they've built forever. Today, I'm going to show you the second way to actually go out there and do that system, okay? I'm going to take you online, and I'm going to show you, well, how can you do this if you don't go to your friends and your family, right? I would totally suggest you guys to actually do both of these methods, okay? Both of these methods. Exactly what I taught yesterday, which I just explained in detail from an overview. Um, I would totally expect you to uh, do both of these things. The second way is a little bit different, okay? Okay. Uh, so here's the way this whole thing works. The same approach is going to, uh, you know, come into play to where we're not going to go out there and, you know, compile this list of probate and mail all the heirs and do all that other stuff. We're still going to do this 100% for free. And we're still going to do this by reaching out to probate attorneys. The only difference is, is we're actually going to, uh, target who these attorneys are. And we're going to know exactly who's working probate already and who's not. Okay. So I want to show you guys this. Okay. Any of you guys can do all this stuff, by the way, as well. So you guys should be seeing my screen uh, right now. Uh, you should be seeing my screen. If you don't uh, comment in and, and let me know, uh, but you should see that and you should see me on the other end of this as well. All you got to do is go to Google. Okay. Just go to Google and here's what you type in to Google. Okay. Cause you're looking for all the probate cases that are actually happening. So here's what you do. Type in your county. So mine is Montgomery County. And then you just want to type in probate. So just type in your county that you want to go out there and do business in, your county, and then just put probate behind it. So Montgomery County probate. So what that's going to do is it's going to bring up this search. Okay, so it's going to bring up the search. So you're saying that you're not seeing the screen. Um, let me take myself off of there. So here, I know you guys can see it now. So you should be good. So go to Google, type in Montgomery or whatever your county is, probate. Okay. In this case, it's Montgomery County probate. And what you're looking for, and all these sites are going to be different. Okay. All these sites are going to be different. And all I'm going to have you do is compile a list here. So uh, every county's got a probate you know, site. So I'm going to go to Montgomery County probate. Most of these are online. Okay. So I'm going to go right here and what I'm going to do and what I'm actually looking for. Okay. What I'm actually looking for is I'm looking to do a case search because I need to just see, Hey, what are all the cases that are actually happening, you know, in my area, right? What are the cases that are going down? 
Okay. So I'm going to go and do just do a case search. And again, some of these counties are not as easy as this one, but the principles stay the same. Go to your probate county website and then just do a probate, you know, a case search here. Okay. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to search for a state right here. So I'm going to search for a state. The case year, I'm just going to put in 2018. You know the case number, you can. And again, all of these are different. So here's what you do. Okay. Again, this is all public record, all public record. So what you do is, is I'm looking at this and here's all the probate cases that happened in 2018. There's quite a bit of them. Okay. So what I'm going to do with this is I am going to start clicking on these cases. Okay. This is the same approach, guys. This is the same exact approach, the same way that a normal person will go out there and direct mail probate. They got to compile the list of some sort. Okay. So here's what you do. You, you go in there into the probate, you know, search right here and it will flat out tell you, Hey, who's the, the person uh, that died in this thing, the case, you know, number and all this other stuff. But what it does is it will give you, and you might have to look in the docket and all this other stuff, but it will give you the attorney's name. Okay. So again, you're not interested, and this is where most investors will go wrong. You're not interested in the actual property itself. Okay. Because again, we're not going to be sending out direct mail and spending money and all this stuff. So I'm not going to go in here and look at the docket. I'm not going to do any of this stuff. Okay. That most people would go out there and do. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a spreadsheet and I'm going to start keeping track of all of the attorneys that are actually working probate right now. So, for example, I would put into a spreadsheet William Elliott and I would put William Elliott's phone number into a spreadsheet. And then what I would do is I would go down and this might take you a half hour to an hour. It doesn't really matter, but it's going to be well worth it. So now I go to the next case and I see the attorney, Carl Sheritz. Here's his phone number. Okay. So then I, and then I put that into a spreadsheet and then I go down to the next one. And then I put in that attorney, Rachel Rupert, phone number. Okay. And what you want to do with this is you want to go through as many as you possibly can, not all of them, because it would literally take you all day, even though you could, you could hire like a virtual assistant or, or something like that to, um, you know, to kind of go through and, and just, just do that way. You could do that. But here's what you're trying to do. You're compiling this spreadsheet and what you are looking for, hey, what are all the probate, you know, lawyers that are doing multiple cases? Because then once you have this spreadsheet, now you know who all the players are. Now you know who you need to be going out there and attracting. Who do you need to go out there and really start getting buddy-buddy with? So what you do is once you find out the players, the people that are just doing straight probate, you know, and they're, they're doing multiple cases, well, guys, guess what you've now done? You've got a list of, you know, maybe 10, 15 different lawyers that that's all they're doing is probate. So now you know who the players are with these probate. So now what you do is you call them up. You call them up. Now, what are you going to do? You're going to get their gatekeeper. You're going to go out there and you're going to get their gatekeeper. So what you do is you explain to their gatekeeper, hey, my name is John Cochran and, you know, I'm local into the area. And, you know, I've got like the mother of all problems. And I think that you can go out there and help me with it. Um, I need to buy some properties like tomorrow at like noon, uh, like very, very quickly. And I'm like doing absolutely everything that I possibly can. I mean, I'm, I'm calling local uh, real estate agents up. I'm, I'm doing all this stuff and I'm not finding anything. So I started thinking outside the box. And I know that you guys work on a lot of probate, you know, uh, cases. And uh, I wanted to make sh I, I wanted to go out there and reach out to you guys and see, you know, if you need to sell any of those probate cases. Um, you know, I, I know that sometimes you list those with realtors, et cetera, but, you know, I noticed that, you know, you, you, you probably need to sell these things and I've, I've got to buy some properties. Like I've, I've got this big problem. So can I talk to the attorney to see what, if there's anything that I can, you know, buy or anything? Well, sir, he's in a meeting right now. So you got the gatekeeper kind of shut you down and that's what you would say to him. Okay. So that's exactly what you would say. So you got the gatekeeper shutting you down. Here's the powerful thing. Most people right then they would stop. Okay. 
they stop because the gatekeeper literally did their job. They shut you down. And now it's like, man, I just can't never get to this attorney. So what you need to do is you need to win over that gatekeeper. It's probably the assistant to that attorney. And I will guarantee you that they talk all day long. The thing is, is that since you don't have a relationship and you're trying to build this relationship, you need to go to that gatekeeper and you just need to flat out to say, you know, hey, this is what I do. I'm local into the area. Go through that whole thing. They're going to shut you down. And then what you need to do is you need to start winning the heart over to that gatekeeper. So the day right after that gatekeeper shuts you down, sh send out a, uh, a handwritten card. Hey, hey, uh, gatekeeper, whatever their name is. This is John. I talked to you yesterday. I was the one that has like the mother of all problems. I need to find properties now. Um, I just hope that, you know, uh, if anything ever happens, you can, uh, you know, uh, please reach out to me, whatever it is. And just write them that handwritten note and just send that off to them. And then they're going to get that. Then I would call back a week later and make sure or a few days later and make sure that they actually got that note from you. Hey, hey, gatekeeper. Hey, Danielle, whatever it is. Hey, I just want to uh, follow up. You know, I talked to you about a week ago and, you know, I was the guy that has the mother of all problems. I need to buy some properties like tomorrow at noon. And uh, I sent you a letter. I was just making sure that you got it. Oh, yeah, I got it. Blah, 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 blah. See, what you're doing is you're starting to build a relationship. You're following up with that gatekeeper. And that gatekeeper is behind the scenes doing the work for you because that gatekeeper is going to that attorney all the time. And they're just saying, you know, hey, attorney, dude, like this guy, you know, he, he keeps calling. He's got the mother of all problems. So this attorney's hearing about this mother of all problem you got. But the gatekeeper still not letting you in. They're still not letting you in. So then the next week goes on. OK. And, you know, maybe nothing's happened out of this. Send flowers to the gatekeeper. Send chocolate, send candy to that gatekeeper. See, what you're doing is you're building a relationship. You already know that they do a ton of probate deals. So what you need to do is you need to get to that gatekeeper and win that gatekeeper over. And when you do, you'll get to that attorney. And then once you get to that attorney, you do the same thing. You go through the same exact thing. Attorney, I've got the mother of all problems. I need to buy like a lot of properties really, really fast. And I'm doing like everything. Like I'm, I'm scrambling, you know, at this point, you know, I'm doing everything that I possibly can to go out there and find deals. I'm thinking outside the box. I, I, I did a little bit of research. I know that you do a lot of, um, you know, probate and man, I'm just going to shoot straight with you. I want to buy everything you got. I want to buy every single thing that you got. So is there any, uh, you know, cases that you have right now that uh, are close to being uh, sold that I can write a cash offer for and, and just give you as much as uh, top dollar for? Is there any cases that you have at that point? And what's going to happen is they're probably going to shoot you over some uh, some cases that, that are available at that time. And if not, you know, guess what? You follow up with them again. Most of the time they will be working on cases because you already know that because of the research that you went out there and did. So number one, is that a good tip? Yes or no? Comment in. I want you to know, or I want to find out, you know, are you doing this method? Are you going out there and doing this? And oh, by the way, here's a beautiful thing about this. And if you like this, by the way, give this a thumbs up. But oh, by the way, doesn't this beat the hell out of going out there and sending direct mail out to, you know, heirs that are grieving and everything else? Guys, there's two different ways to attack this. The first way is a total relationship play. It's a total relationship play, number one, and that's free. It's like the most powerful thing ever, and it's free. The second way, you go out there and you got to do some cold calling. You got to win some hearts over of some, some gatekeepers or whatnot, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because the beautiful thing is that, you know, once you know who's actually doing the cases, go out there and reach out to them. Tell, say exactly what I just told you to go out there and say to them, and you know what? They're, they're going to shoot you down, but that's okay. That's okay because when you follow up that gatekeeper five to 12 times, when you follow up with that gatekeeper five to 12 times, guys, guess what? They're talking to that attorney and you will get to that attorney that's doing a lot of cases. You don't need very many of these people, right? You only need a couple of attorneys or one attorney that is going out there and doing 30, 40, 50, 60 probate cases a year to have your hands on all of these free deals, free deals that you didn't pay for. And by the way, these are like the smart, the, these are like the fattest deals ever. So I would tell you guys, guys, 
this market that we're in right now, it's not like the most trickiest market ever. Right. See, it's see what it is, is everybody is fishing in this pond and they're fishing into the same exact pond using the same exact bait, doing the same old freaking outdated systems and strategies that really haven't worked since 2015. And they feel like we're in this no inventory. Guys, it's all horseshit. It's how you guys are going out there and finding the actual deals. That is two different ways that you can go out there and attack probate very differently, but they're free. And oh, by the way, it works. You just got to be willing to go out there and do this. So if you're willing to go out there and do this, put down below into the comments, I'm going to do it and I'll help you through it. I'll help you guys through this. Guys, I had a blast shooting this thing. This all is, you know, just completely just fluff if you do nothing about it. So here's what you do. Go out there and compile a list of all the probate cases in your area but you're not you don't you're not interested in the address and put the attorney's name there which attorneys keep coming up multiple times and then what you need to do is start reaching out to those probate attorneys use that script that I gave you with the gatekeeper get to that attorney and you will have deals start to come to you it's all about how you do the system guys i'll see you guys on the next one see you guys